One show, two turntables, one DJ, DJ LS with Affiliate Radio. Get affiliated. DJ LS, boy. DJ LS, this is my baby day. <laughs> hey, look here, homie. I don't know where you thought you was at, man. But we're on the south side right now. You're in the mix with DJ LS, you dig? I'm ready, Kurt The wait is over. History is in the making. Broadcasting from the Love Shack, it's Affiliate Radio with DJ LS. Welcome to the Love Shack. What's that F5 shit we've been talking about, man? Pump it up, homeboy, just don't stop. Pump up the volume. Like this. Hey, DJ! Rock the beat with your hands. There it is. DJ Sharpest motherfucker with the beats, with the rhymes, any DJ. The realest and illest DJ in the old. DJ LS. Affiliate Radio. Get affiliated. What up, world? This your boy, Big Kurt Dog, a.k.a. DJ LS, a.k.a. I battle any DJ blindfolded because I'm nice like that. You know what I'm saying? In the building today, live in the Love Shack. We got my nigga CJ from Grip Records. What's up, Pimpy? Yo, what's good, world? Oh, man, you know I had to get you in here. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of talk <laughs> on Facebook and on the internet. We're going to get to that. Oh, well, I already know what you're talking about, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but but let's, let's start with the basics, you know what I'm saying? CJ is in the building, so I got to ask you, man, you from Grip Records. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, let the people know what does Grip stand for, because that's an acronym, right? Yeah, it's an acronym. We, was, we split it off. We actually also have a nonprofit organization, and the GRIP stands for God Really Inspires People. That's right. So, you know what I mean? We, we do things for, for people out there who don't have anything anybody else to do for them otherwise. Okay, now, did that start out as just an organization, or did it start out as a label? What? How did Grit Records actually get started? Wow, I mean, putting it all together, it was kind of like just everything dropped, and then when you got so many people to drop into a situation, it started out with the music, and then you got so many who, you know, good moral people who come together with ideas, and you had the resources to make them happen. I mean, it just spawned off into everything else after that. Okay, that's what's up. Now... You got a few members, eh? y'all kind of deep, so <laughs> who's on the roster right now? Uh, on the roster, you got myself, CJ, uh, my man OC Riddles. You got the greats, which is uh, Reason and Weeze. You got k Sass. You got DJ Maz, Gritty Grunt, the Gully Brothers. Uh, you got my man JP on the beats. Uh, you know, you got got a lot of people involved as far as vocalists. Uh, and Tia Subtle, we've worked with Nicole Denise, uh, quite a few people. So, I mean, the Grip family, the solid foundation, and then you have what you call, I guess, an extended family as well. That's what's up. Okay, now, how do you describe your sound? Because I know, like, y'all don't do the typical club type music, you know what I'm saying? So, how. How do y'all, y'all not D-Boy, y'all don't do nah. D-Boy music, so how do you describe the sound that y'all have? I mean, I would just describe the sound as real life. Uh, if you put, you know, what the average person goes through in real life to a sound, to a record, and you put it through, I mean, that's what it is. Uh, and I don't mean that real life as far as we out here doing this and we doing that. No, it's, it's, it's not about that. It's, it's about the things that people can really identify to. So each individual artist has his own signature sound. Uh, but the sound overall put together, like I said, it's just real life. That's what it is, man. I'm, I'm quite familiar with, with grip and the movement. Definitely ill lyricists on the team. Good production, you Appreciate know what I'm saying? It. So you've been rapping for a minute. Do you remember the first rap song you heard as a kid? Or any song at all that inspires you to say, man, I want to be a rapper. I'm going to start rapping. Really, to be honest with you, it's, it's kind of funny. Uh, I don't think anybody's ever asked me that. The one that sticks out in my head as a kid is Ice Cube, No Vaseline. Uh, <laughs> and that's <laughs> ironic because that was a diss track. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, you know, so, but, uh, you know, I mean, there was plenty of stuff. My dad was in the music industry growing up. Uh, and really, my my earliest my earliest rap influence is actually a lot closer to home than a lot of people know or even think. Uh, my dad back in the day ran a record label, Great Plains Entertainment, and back then he was working with a very young artist back then who ended up turning into a guy that you guys know today as Nitro. Uh, oh, that's so you know, watching him and, and, and you know 
couple of those guys, Nitro and Samaj and all them come in and out the house and, you know, going with my dad and doing stuff like that. That was the first rap role model that I had, uh, you know, as far as just like a real life, like, wow, okay, this guy's doing it, living his dream. I know the people that I see here and see on the radio and, and stuff like that, but as far as just anybody that sticks out to me in my head, it would be him. Uh, but like I said, the first song, <laughs> I said Q. No Vaseline. <laughs> no Vaseline. Man, that was one of the illest good songs, man. Just imagine a little bit of gasoline. <laughs> uh, that's what's up. Shout out to Nitro. You know, he definitely laid the path for us local artists to come through and do what we do. Right, right. Exactly. Shout out to my man. He out there doing it. Already. Well, shoot. I tell you what. Let's go ahead and get into some music real quick, man. Now, you talked about the greats. Let's get into one of their tracks. It's called I Am Legend. Now, how did that track come about? Uh, Man, that track came about, and really, you're going to hear it in the track. These these two guys are just, they they lyrical exhibitionists, period. You mm. know what I mean? When, when it comes down to it. And a lot of this stuff, it, it comes out raw with what you would think is you would lay down something raw and then come back with a concept over the top of it. Right. But a lot of the times, they rawness is the concept. Uh, so, you know, this this is one of those tracks to show that, you know, and I, I wanted to throw this in on make sure on, on this interview because to let everybody know, we're going to get to this in a little bit, but, you know, watch out, you know, the melting pots out there right now, just as well as bars and stripes coming out soon by the greats, so y'all be looking out for that. That's what's up. Well, let's get into it. I am Legends, the greats. Let's get it. This is an affiliate radio exclusive. I am legend, all time high score, MVP, holy one on par four, 100% raw, blue magic, Bin Laden, terrorizing beats, holla if you want war, uh, MJ before he wore the 4-5 or him J before he was sitting court side, that's reasonable doubt, yes, a reason to doubt, watch him flow on the track like flow Joe. Marathon, Icon, 92, tight sign, ear hustlers, please stop bite time. I'm so rare like Obama in the White House, or Michael Jackson before he went the white route. I'm dope in the games, Amy Winehouse, no rehab, just relax whenever I'm out. Top shelf selection, sick as infections, still over your hair like condoms before you're sexing. Not the best, nor the king, just greatest of my section. Sure. I make it thunder on you niggas Summer, fall, spring, winter time Have fools running in they casa like it's dinner time Consistently, I'm atrocious when I handle mine Might as well be dealing coke the way I handle lines A1, the taste test of how you mesmerize Surprise, your worst fear's been visualized The great guys, young niggas that just stay fly Eyes wide like you stumbled up on eight pies Your flow sober like you boys been on the cake die Mine elevated, three blunts in the same eyes Powder puffs, your bark ain't loud enough Talk big leagues, but ground baller when your bat is up Lyrically challenged, ego outweigh your talent Sneaking up tracks, but it's a fact that I'm pH balanced A chance you fucking with weeds? Shit, I highly doubt it Make your ass stop that high horse and dismount it Brace, man. What's happening? It's your boy John Doe, man. What up, man? It's Andre Graves, your favorite nigga from the dub. This is John Jones checking in. Yeah, it's your boy G Bass, the Southside Holder, man. Straight from the Smith and Wesson section, man. And we live in the motherfucking mix on Ophiliate Radio. Get affiliated, nigga. All right, we back on Affiliate Radio. We in the building with CJ from Grip. Say what's up to the people, man. What up, what up, what up? Yep, and that was I Am Legend, the greats, you know what I'm saying? Grip Records in the building. Grip is in the building. Yes, sir. Now, let me let me get down to it, because I know a lot of people have been asking about it. Uh, There's a lot of stuff going on <laughs> Facebook, man. You know, a lot of posts, a lot of people getting involved. This whole rock bottom situation. Rock bottom, if you don't know, from Presidential Trap House, <laughs> Aviators, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got like a little Facebook beef going on. There's been songs recorded. I heard a song from the greats. I yeah, see Robert yeah. Smith going ham on his Facebook page. Yeah. CD Dove got a track, the Hit yeah. Em Up joint. I'm like, <laughs> what's going down? Like, what, what is this all about? Let the people know what's cracking. All right, first off, before I get into it, I'm just going to say this. You know, everybody knows. 
three sides to every story. There's side A, there's side B, and then there's the truth. That's right. All right. So I'm going to try to keep it off of side A as much as possible and stay towards that truth line and, 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 and let everybody know exactly what's going on. I'm going to explain to you why. Okay. All right. So first and foremost, the beef between the greats and rock bottom and the beef between CJ and rock bottom, two totally separate things, two so totally separate issues. It ain't grip jumping on this dude or ganging up on this dude back. A lot of people been asking the question, you know, why are y'all even wasting the time? Mm. So I let the greats speak upon their, you know, okay. uh, uh, upon their beef with them, uh, you know. But just to let you know, you know, something was said in a track. They took it, you know, what I'm saying the way they took it, mm. you know, and they responded accordingly. So. Right. As far as me and Bottom goes, uh, without throwing out too many people's names, you know, names have always been changed to protect the innocent. Okay. <laughs> uh, it was it was a situation. Everybody knows, you know, he's the DJ at the strip club. Uh, it was a situation where one, of, you know, an associate of mine, I was going to see. Uh, we're sitting around, you know, he just happens to be seeing one of the girls that dance up there. Uh, she was there. A couple, you know, another person was there. Uh, we sitting around talking, and before I got there. Uh, my man had been big up and me to the girl and you know a couple other people showing her the video and all this and all that you know this is cj from grip records he's gonna come through chill for a minute we'll do it ain't even on no no local celebrity type crap it's just you know my, my that's one of my homies you know right. what i'm saying he's he, he supporting his homie that's right so i get there we chilling and you know about probably about 20 minutes in the girl looks like she got a light bulb just went off in her head and says hold on i know you uh oh i heard about you uh, do you know the DJ up there at, at Club Eternity? So I said, yeah, Rocky? She said, yeah, it was a rock bottom, whatever. She, yeah, yeah, y'all got some kind of beef or something going on? Uh, up to this point, ain't nothing been said. Uh, nothing been said, nothing. So I'm like, no, nah, well, you know, he's going on and, you know, he's talking shit with some other dude standing there and he mentioned your name and all this and all that. That's where I figured I knew you from. Uh, so I said, okay, you know, that's cool. So didn't pay no more t- attention to it. Went on about my way. I sat on it for a couple of days. Right. Didn't mention it to none of the crew. Didn't even mention it to my girl. Uh, and I said, you know what? When I thought about it again, let me just ask this dude. You know, it, this is what I heard. Uh, you know, do we have a problem? Is there a problem here? Hmm. And the way he responded back to me, if you a real man or you a man about your business, so this shit don't even make no difference to you. When you come back, if, if somebody says that, if I said that to you, I would expect you to come back to me and say, hey, man, I don't know what you heard. Ain't nothing going on like that. You have a good day. Right, right. The way he came back at me was kind of left field, you know what I'm saying? And, and if y'all know Rock Bottom, you know, he, he talks in a very condescending way uh, to a lot of people. Mm. I'm a grown-ass man. <laughs> got you, got you know, you. you're not just gonna talk to me any kind of way. So I let him know. I said, okay, if you telling me that that situation ain't what it is, and this is just the words of a stripper, then you know, what I'm saying we're gonna charge that to the game. But on a separate note, the way you coming to me right now is about to make us have an issue over anything else than anything that anybody said. So you are saying the way he responded was a little disrespectful? A little disrespectful, or? and then okay. that little bit of disrespectful just snowballed into some other stuff because, as y'all know, rock bottom. He makes a lot of subliminal posts and stuff about people. So right after the conversation me and him had, I start seeing little stuff show up, you know, talking about, hey, you know, da, 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 relating to the conversation we had. So I'm like, okay, now you're getting too dangerously close to talking a lot of noise. Mm. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> Wait for it. Uh, <laughs> this is what I'm going to do with me. And this, this goes to anybody else out there. I don't get involved in beef. This shit between me and Bottom is not beef. What would you call it? Exactly what the track says. It's an experiment. Okay. Now, now explain to the people what what do you mean by experiment? Because that is the name of the of, of the track, by the way. What made you call it experiment? This is an experiment to see the one person. You always got one person in the area that kind of gets under everybody's skin. Right. It don't matter if you rapping. It don't matter if you working at a call center. It don't matter if you whatever you do. If you working a job full of full of other people, there's always one person that gets up underneath your skin. Mm-hmm. Well, he seems to be that person in the hip hop community in Oklahoma. Mm. So my experiment was, well, how does the person that gets under everybody else's skin react when somebody gets under his? Ah. So from that point. <laughs> I did the track, 
uh, yeah, as you guys are about to hear, it's all facts, okay? It's all facts with a little bit of comedy mixed in. I didn't go with the man personally because I don't believe in airing anybody else's personal business out, especially when I don't know it and I haven't witnessed it myself. Okay. But the things that I have that I did mention in the track are things that I know for fact. Now, let me say this. I think when you do make a diss track, you should base it off the facts because it makes it more entertaining. Yeah. It's more interesting, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it just it sheds light on what's really going on. I don't like yes. when people fabricate. Give me the truth so I can build off of what you're saying, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let's go ahead and get into that joint, man. This is the experiment, the rock bottom This It's going down on Philly and Radio. Let's get it. Watch your, mouth, watch your mouth, watch your mouth, you watch your mouth. Huh. Fuck, fuck ass, out of here. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Sebring drive. Fuck that. Yeah. 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 Strike deadly like a viper. Finger yeah. my hand is steady. Cool. Bring it on fucking Cruise. ready. Nigga, I'm in here. Rag session. Gather around the speaker. Like here I is. E on your back. Here's that ether. He been screaming at the giant. Guess he thought I was asleep. I've been on the paper diet. Now I'm back to eating beef. Certified to start a riot every time I even speak So I be trying to keep it quiet just to keep the fucking peace Till I heard this little nigga at the bottom spitting quiz Ask him if he had a problem with his vaginal release He responded like the nigga didn't know I was a beast I'm about five or six of you on steroids at least A brutal savage on these beats, I move in stealth through the street The bookshelf full of heat that'll melt you to a heat, nigga And these is warm up bars here This little fairy nigga violated my crosshair, shit it's the hard knocks, players exposed here Now hit him with that takeover, burn up his nose hair Your, your boss, your boss suck, suck, suck. Fuck out of here, oh, I'm gone Running this rap shit the CJ, running this rap shit Vicky Weed, running this rap shit Mass and Gritty, running this rap shit Sass and Riddle, running this rap shit Come on, nigga yeah, uh, the takeover, you little fake soldier Yeah, nigga, it's me, I ain't making you wait no longer I'ma drop a few balls in his back to the money Did somebody tell this nigga what I do to little bummies? You really hit rock bottom out here chasing for shine So if I shit on rock bottom, I'ma lace it with nine You little queen fucker fiend, say you spitting for green Your balls suck like the first ten minutes of porn scene So I try and move number, took a shot at the team Hey, don't you know who the fuck in the gym? You must be off in the bath salts, my nigga get them all for the asphalt, he's choking on his G-Unit man bro, this nigga's delusional, I'll never take his losing soul, then I'm just spitting this on cruise control, guess I done bruised his goal, yo he cool though, know how I know, here's a towel bottom wipe the pole, now to the interview, I just don't think it's fair that you charge me 25% interest on the money that you loan me, when you already take 30% out of my check, you know I ain't got no G-string and I ain't out there making no tips, you know, what was this tripping game partner, bottom, bottom, who you ain't nothing? All you do is spin records. That's all you do. Damn records, nigga. Who you think he is? DJ Quick? Huh? Kick and free? I didn't say that. Oh, you must be Jimmy Walker. Funny. You ain't nothing. You don't deserve nothing. You don't get nothing. You get what I give you. I got a contract between me and you. This say you do what I tell you to do. Therefore, shut up. Don't say nothing. Don't speak to me. Don't look at me. I tell you what. You better go on back out there and get out of my face <laughs> before you get swole. Yes, well, hey, look, Dal, I ain't Stay for horses, stay for horses. Come here and muscle you and nothing like that. I ain't Blue, trying to do that. I just money. You know, I just say. Blue, if I raise up, gonna be trouble. Trouble. Yo. Yo. This song's for all the happy people. All the happy people. Lie about their own lives. Uh-huh. And then try to judge other people against their own lives. Uh-huh. Fuck out of here, fuck out of here, no ass nigga. Nigga, that's what I do, nigga, that's what I do. Uh -huh. You little faggot. I bet you've been waiting for this to happen. I've been patiently waiting, too, slapping bitches, sort of a habit. You 42 and rapping without signing a deal yet. It ain't because the market is more to do with your skill set. Nigga, I'm a real threat. Punch lines like a drill bit. See, every line I kill shit. Niggas know that it's real shit. Gotta listen. Why the niggas that ain't got a pot to piss and be talking the biggest shit and envision they raking riches when really the joke's on you. Got a feeling that you don't care. You really should have considered the people who you've been dissing. We slaughtered the competition. You might as well slit your wrist and go jumping without a parachute off for the death. Bill. 
Fuck this little dumb fuck. You ever outdo me? That shit is dumb luck. You know I chain bars together like a nunchuck. You probably catch Obama fucking Sarah Palin. Michelle holding the camera for you. Catch me giving one fuck. When the only nigga spinning you is you. The only props you get are niggas in your crew. When it feels like you don't know what to do. Cause the bitch inside of you just be oozing through the tube. When the only nigga spinning you is you. The only props you get are niggas in your crew. When it feels like you don't know what to do. Cause the bitch inside of you just be oozing through the tube. When you be hating on the niggas that you fed When you talk a lot of shit and no one cares When you feel like you had it up the head Cause when you were growing up the people thought you'd be a queer Stay at your ass Fuck you real shit Nigga When the grip gang's in the building You niggas better move Hey fuck fed on this nigga I'm going federal I grind 24 hours so I don't never snooze That's probably part of the reason that I will never lose You silly fool, you cool, but I'm a better you See you in afterthought, I'm unforgettable See for a while I put rap on the back burner Now I'm back burning them and my kids got better shoes You top flight like head on the airplane You top flight like Craig J and Day Day My pops made a couple hits back in his heyday So that's probably why I got the fucking city yelling yeah, mayday I'm feeling like a million bucks up in the booth I keep spitting till I put a million up and then I'm cool These rappers keep biting Then they wanna bark but I'm ten feet past one Like yeah, ahead of you Hey nigga please, your whole style is sample The only thing you ever gon' be is an example the Lyrical stampede, these niggas get trampled Cause all I do is drop bars on them like anvils But no acne, you try to jack me I put red dots on your face like acne Two all blacks and I don't need no one to bag me Cause one shot I had this nigga running like a track me And now we're back on Affiliate Radio. Okay, that was uh, <laughs> that was the experiment, man. CJ going in on rock bottom. <laughs> very interesting. I, you know, I try to stay neutral, but it, I was it was very entertaining. I will say that. That's what I was going for, man. <laughs> like I said, I wasn't trying to go at the man personally, personally attack him. But right, right. You know, if you're gonna do it, do it. Yeah, well, you you did it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know what I'm saying? I, I seen on Facebook, even you had posted on your page about Rock Bottom doing a track, you know, <laughs> retaliating on you guys. And it was called uh, They Reach It. Yeah. And I went yeah. and checked out the track, and, you know, it was... I'm glad you did, by the way, because he needs some promo. He needs some help. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we, we, oh, it is what it is. But I checked it out, you know, and and he went in. I, I, it was six minutes long, and he went in on the greats. Uh, I heard Robert Smith's name. I heard CB Dove's name, and mm-hmm. I heard your name. You know what I'm saying? And he had a lot to say. So you know, you know what what was crazy though is if you put both of them tracks side by side and you play them, they 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 eerily similar, you know, in, in style and composition. I wonder where he got that idea from. Hmm. But you know, <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, hey, I'm gonna put it to you like this. Now I got CJ in the booth right now. I approached both of them, and yes. I told them I wanted both of you guys to come in and tell your sides of the story. CJ automatically said, "Yeah, let's do it." Like real, I, like I hit him up like a minute late. Like, yeah, let's go, let's do it. I hit up Bottom, and he felt like he didn't want to give niggas shine, you know what I'm saying? Or he called it shine tickets or something like that. Can't give shine without a light. And I think he made a local joker a local joker reference, uh, you local jokers, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it one. That's what he said. And, and uh, But then I heard the diss song, so I feel like if you made the diss song, my nigga, I'm Might giving well. you an invite to come on the show, come holler at your boy, man. Let's get it in. Might as well. Tell your side. You know, the people want to know. You know what I'm saying? So there it is. If get you want to get, get at you some me, promo, you need it. Oh, what? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Hey, 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 hey. That's what we're here for, man. We got to keep it 100. Okay, well, let's let's keep it moving, man. Let me ask you, um, what projects do you have coming out? What's next for CJ and Grip Records? What you got going on? Uh, what's next coming up for all of us? Uh, we're streamlining Grip Records. Uh, if you notice, there's a blueprint laid out for for anything that's successful, and the blueprint that, that for any underground hip hop label is independent should be the one of, the, of like the No Limit Records. 
That's right. Uh, you know what I mean? So right now, the next thing that we're working on, I've kind of taken a little bit of the, I guess you could say, the executive producer role with Grip Records now. Uh-huh. Um, so we're going to pretty much just start streamlining project after project from artist after artist instead of trying to do it all at once like we were before. Right. Uh, so the next thing coming up, you're going to hear, uh, you've got the greats, like, like I mentioned earlier, the Bars and Stripes mixtape is coming out soon. Okay. Uh, just as well as K-Sass has, has, has got her uh, her mixtape, I believe. The last I talked to her uh, a few weeks ago, she said it was t- entitled uh, Bipolar. Uh, yeah, and it's man from from the tracks I've heard off of it so far, ridiculous. You know, K Saz is a beast, man. That's the homegirl. Shout out to K Saz, man, man. If you don't know, if I put I put it like this, the reason why K Saz don't get as much mention is because I think half the dudes that would be mentioning her are scared of her. <laughs> Straight up, I swear. And I'm not just saying I'm scared of her. <laughs> no, real, real shit. She she can spit like lyrically. She's a beast, Ridiculous. man. And I had the honor of doing a uh, uh, her first mixtape. Uh, no, the introduction. Yeah, I did the introduction yeah. mixtape. You know what I'm saying? And the bars on that was just Ridiculous. sick, man. Yeah. Uh, so you you're gonna you're gonna see a few more things now. As far as CJ goes, right. uh, I just flew up to Boise uh, a couple days ago. Just got back a couple of days ago. Shoot a video on location up there with my dude Young Verb. From, uh, Shout out to Infinity Bars Entertainment. Yep. Uh, just shot the video for Getting It In. Uh, Getting It In is, is, is going to be the next the next single that I'm going to put out, but it's my first real attempt in a video is just full on acting. Uh, uh-huh. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's a lot of it, you'll see in the video, a lot of it's going to be story based. I think we did a real good job with it. Uh, shout out to Donna, she shot. And uh, Prince up there at SBS Incorporated for Unlimited Media Group. They did an excellent job. Excellent job. So you getting uh, your uh, together. you getting your Cuba Gooden Jr. on. <laughs> a little bit, a <laughs> little bit, man. That's uh, what's up. So I mean, and then as, as far as myself goes, music wise, uh, I will begin working on a new mixtape this uh, this winter. Uh, it's already pretty much it's already written, but I haven't even started as far as anything is composing and putting the beats together, anything like that. So, uh, but that will be coming out after our next grip trip back to Boise, Idaho, where we're going up and uh, the greats are gonna shoot a video up there with those same guys from SBS Incorporated. That's right. Uh, just as well as knock out a couple of shows, do some networking up there. So, uh, grip trip 2012, here we come. <laughs> That's what's up. Now I notice y'all y'all always have. Merchandise, you know what I'm saying? I see the grip wristbands everywhere. Mm-hmm. Shout out to y'all for giving me one because I'm gonna definitely rock that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, with my little watch or whatever. But uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I always appreciate artists that have or, or clicks or, or record labels that have their own merchandise. Now, if people want to get that merchandise, like where can they get it from if they want to get y'all on a verse, get some beats? Uh, mix and mastering Whatever you guys do What's your contact info? Uh, first and foremost Shoot, shoot a contact to GripRecords.tv That's www.g-r-i-p-r-e-c-o-r-d-s Dot TV mm-hmm. uh, That's where you can get us As far as any Any shows that you want to book uh, Any verses Anything like that You want to get from any Grip artists uh, The merchandise The good thing about being local And being independent is Is We carry the merchandise at all times uh, So if you want a wristband uh, You can find me at CJ Grip Records Hardest Artist On Facebook uh, Holler at Young Weez Grip Records Hardest Artist Victor Stolback uh, DJ Mass All of these names You just type right into Facebook Hit us up uh, and Just as well as my man Jamil Covington On Facebook That's the merchandise man So you know If you got special custom orders That you want on You know Bands for certain colors Or anything like that Get with my man Jamil Covington On Facebook uh, You'll find him on Any one of our pages and, and he'll hook it up for you That's what it is man That's how y'all get it in I appreciate that hustle And that grind man yeah, yeah. Now you got any shout outs you want to give out before we get out? Oh man, this is so long, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep it I'm <laughs> gonna keep it real close, and I'm gonna say this right now. If I miss your name, it was not my intention. <laughs> but uh, first and foremost, obviously, we always give a shout out to God. That's right. Um, and then you know all of my grip fam, Weez, Vic, Riddle, Saz, Gritty, Maz, Tia. Candy, JP, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just run through the whole quarter, you know, just run through the whole grip camp. Uh, and then, I mean, all my supporters out there, we have some real diehard supporters out there. 
uh, who really take time and and not only help push the movement but believe in it and following it so you know to all of our grip supporters uh you know undying love to you guys uh other than that i mean shout out to you know my people up there up north in boise young verb uh my man chewy gums up there uh shout out to donnie shock prince uh, you know all of my people down here to take care of us i mean everybody just shout out to everybody man What's up, man? I appreciate you coming through, man. I'm gonna go ahead and blaze a, a one more joint. Classic, we go. Yeah, it's a classic, man. I love the video. I love the track. It's got that real authentic hip hop feel. It's called Old City. Hey, and if, if DJ Mass was here right now, he would tell you. But I'm gonna tell you the story real quick. Okay. Old City, the entire song, verses one through three, try layered on the track. Every last one of them from beginning to end, one take. That's what's up. So that's that. That's ran that through the it ran through the entire song with so much energy. You don't hear any punches, any anything, any editing, nothing in the song. It's all one take. That's how it was given. Uh, and then just as well, uh, my first the video you mentioned. You know, my, my first attempt at directing a video. Uh, so <clears throat> I think I think it came together in the same in the vision that I wanted to. And it's I mean it's Panama to the city. Man, I love it. And I I remember you came through. Uh, to the video premiere party that the Ophelia's did uh-huh. with me and Tremie and uh, the homeboy L Easy, shout out to him. Yes. And they played the video and I loved it, man. It just had that that real hip hop feel. And I like that y'all bring it the the authentic hip hop element to Oklahoma. I'm an East Coast cat, so I right. appreciate the the hip hop element in Oklahoma. Oklahoma is a melting pot for real. It we is. got every genre of hip hop you can think of. You know what I'm saying? Y'all definitely bring that hip hop. Feel to the forefront, and I gotta salute y'all for that. Appreciate it. Man. So I want to thank you for coming through, man. O's up, you know how we do it. It's so Philly Radio, CJ Grip Records in the building. Let's get into it, O City, and we out. We out, baby. Yep. We the affiliates, bitch. Yeah. Yep. It's O City. Uh huh, uh huh, it's Old City. Yeah. Nothing but Old City. Yeah. Coming from Page Avenue, right over by the circle. Skinny yellow kid with specs, they calling him Urkel. I once was told you to get the hood, they'll desert you, submerge you, and won't bring you up until you purple. I'm paying homage to roots like Alex Haley. The city's why I'm here, the city is what has made me. Although it was my father that took the time out to raise me, Old City is the reason I'm killing beats on a daily. Though many others want to cross the swords, if rap was coke, I'm Old City's Boston George. Lost and found, can't nobody stop us now. We run the city like Diddy where the Bronx is found. You see, I'm Old City born, Old City bred, still two middle fingers to them Old City fans. Just in case a nigga want to get a mask and pop, let Old City be the place where my casket drops. It's O City. This 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 the City. This O City. My city felt pain, but did it go to war? No, it came back better than ever before. It even got the coward back in and settled the score. That's why the city is the place I forever adore. Don't start shit, then we won't say shit. But talk slick, niggas will let the eight spit. A lot of places to bury with no traces. Niggas be quietly covering all bases. All pay is set aside for the player who take a O and bring it back in a day or two. East side, I was born and raised, but old city's in my heart till I'm burned and blazed. It's old city. Deep Deuce and Film Row 
to the north side, Club Springs, Paseo. From Midtown, Auto Alley, and Heritage Hills. To south side, Stark Yards, and Capitol Hill. From West End, West Ave, to Westville. The East is the best, we don't care how the rest feel. It's all love inside of the city limits, though. The city limits will never limit the city's growth. I got a favor to ask of the population. Keep repping across the nation. Wherever you go, the city go. Just let them know that we are here and we are not leaving. Put your hands in the air, wave them in the breezing. Never let another stop your grind. Long as the wheels keep turning, keep this in mind that no matter what, let your paper stack. And rest assured that the city's always got your back. It's 06. <laughs> my baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs>